Obviously missing some star power in this one. Uh, the Clippers and the Lakers had some good matchups. And perhaps we'll see them in the playoffs. Without their two superstars, it has been a struggle offensively. Uh, they need certain players to really pick up the scoring as Marcus Morris hits his first shot. Morris goes back up top to Paul George. George has been dealing with a toe injury. Looks smooth on that one. Ames because of it in February and says it's just not right. And they got to figure it out. Still sore, still swelling. Markeith Morris down low. Now, what do you think, Jeff, about the two brothers who are so close? I think it's, it reminds me, it'll remind me, I think, as a nice shot by Reggie Jackson, who has played very, very well. Still no fans here at the Staples Center, but that's going to change in less than a couple of weeks, mid-April, as the state, as Marcus Morris knocks down another. And the Lakers have been the road team 42 times over that period. They're 21 and 21. They've split as Kawhi Leonard knocks down the three. Aren't they... Didn't they buy a new? Yep. Yeah, I don't, I don't I know if they've determined the exact is. The Morris, this time, Markeith draws a foul on brother Marcus and a chance for a three-point play. Can you tell the Morris twins apart? Can you? you know, I was just thinking that when they showed the split screen, there was no chance. Well. I like that. Leonard tied up by Markeith. Marcus Morris connects on a three. Morris twins are a combined six for six. Bad pass from Kuzma. Kawhi Leonard snatches it. Dribbles pass, drives in and throws it down. Mark Heapmore's looking at the official Michael Smith and saying, hey, I fouled him. I wanted to stop him. If you want to know what kind of mood he's in as he has to sit out all these games, well, he tweeted at 5.20 a.m. this morning. Really? I don't believe he's been here. Schroeder knocks down the jumper. Morris. No, obviously not. Marcus misses the first nice pass from Leonard. Uh, Marcus Morris comes right back, banks it home. Williams and some second round draft picks going to the Hawks in exchange for Rondo. Nice pass inside, Schroeder to Marquise Morris. And Alex Caruso goes to Horton Tucker. Backing in right away. Gets inside and knocks it down. Both teams shooting the ball well here in the first quarter. 53%. For the Lakers, same for the Clippers. Terrence Mann on the pull-up. Nice soft touch. Like Horton Tucker, Terrence Mann, a second-round pick in his second year. He played his college ball at Florida State, and he has had some nice minutes in recent weeks. Horton Tucker off the bench with four very quick points. Horton Tucker once again gets inside. This one won't go. Tip from McKinney misses. Leonard quick outlet, Rajon Rondo. Batum for three. That's good. Caruso one-on-one -on -one against Paul George. Horton Tucker doubles. Good ball movement. And Terrence Mann finishes up with a corner three. George flips it up and rolls around and drops in for his second field goal. One year at Hargrave Military Academy, where a number of NBA players went to, made such an impact. And he talks about how it prepared him as a man. A lot of interesting tidbits about Montrez Harrell in that piece is Harrell right on cue scores. He's just more comfortable too, guys. He knows he's going to be here for a while. He knows he's a champion. And he told me that has made all the difference, Mike. Those guys you need in your locker room, on your team bus, on your flights, you give a burst of energy throughout the, the entire season. Paul George steps into a three. He's got nine points, three rebounds, two assists here this afternoon. Montrez Harrell, nice looking jumper from the baseline. Like barbed wire fences? Absolutely. And the, the, one of the main things is the discipline. By the way, that challenge was unsuccessful. Paul George comes right back, stays aggressive. He's in double figures. Marcus Morris knocked away by Caldwell Pope. Kuzma goes at Jackson, drives, and banks it home. Surrendering position, but active with his hands. Came up with the steal. Reggie Jackson backs in, uh, back in, and gets to the bucket easy. He thought he was fouled as well. He's one of the most underrated players in this game. And then blocks the shot down the other end. The things he does on a nightly basis, you can take for granted. It's winning basketball on both sides of the floor. And Marcus Morris knocks it down. Leonard, Marcus Morris, another Marcus Morris. 
His third three-pointer. He's got 17 first-half points. He has to accept it because that's his job. He is still committed to this Lakers team. But he made it clear going out, then coming back in when Drummond got injured. Right. It's like he's had a terrific career. It's certainly not easy as Caruso knocks in the corner three. Nobody's in double figures. On the drive, Dennis Schroeder with a pretty move. Both teams missing key players. Obviously, the Lakers decimated without LeBron James and Anthony Davis as Kuzma draws the foul and a chance for a three-point play. Well, Mike, over in the Lakers locker room at halftime, Coach Frank Vogel told his team the 5-0 run they had at the end of the first half, that should be a momentum builder. In the Clippers locker room, Ty Lue said he was happy with how aggressive Paul George has been in this game. Paul's official injury is a bone edema in his right big toe. Zubats, nice feet inside, and Kawhi Leonard banks it home, and this is the largest lead of the game. Yeah, because you're so outraged. No, I'm the guy that got, you know, I'm, no, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, no. I'm, I never took the basketball and went home. Let's restraint, that. restraint. <laughs> Jokic only had 14 points, seven rebounds, seven assists. Although Denver did win the game. Schroeder back out, and the soul's going to try the three, and, and able to connect there. I want to see my outfit and appreciate it. <laughs> Well, I think it's because of his back. I don't think he's trying to show off. I didn't say show off. Three yes, so it's another three. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> you set yourself up for that one. Marcus Morris drills another. And continues his terrific game. I can't have my dog named the same thing. I can't have one Rufus and another Rufus. <laughs> Kawhi Leonard hits a three-pointer. Leonard doubled. Rondo sweeps across and lays it up and in for his first point as an L.A. Clipper. By the way, in case anyone's wondering at home, yes, that's Noah Eagle sitting behind Jeff. The Clippers radio voice, just a fabulous young broadcaster. Great broadcaster. He sure Already. is, but he is young. Syracuse. He's a lot younger than us. Horton Tucker drives, banks it home. Side of the backboard. That's a pretty ugly possession as Caruso throws it back for Kuzma, back to Caruso. <laughs> This game, <laughs> Harold banks it in. Handle, and she's going to shoot that ball tonight. Tough, crafty. I'm going to pick the upset. I'm going with Arizona to win it all. Stanford beat him by 30 and 14 this year. Or the fewest by a team, the Clippers. The shot clock winds down. Montrez Harrell hits the jumper. That was way back on December. 22-point lead for the Clippers. The closest the Lakers have been. And the second half is 13. There's Halen Horton Tucker. Halen Horton Tucker now with 10 points. Puzzling performances that they're just not there. And, and the, everybody talks about it. Coaches, players, front office people as George knocks it down. The mental challenge of the way this has been set up. Now some of that has been lessened a bit. But the majority of it has not. Horton Tucker. The tip won't go, and the follow. You know, you get on a good stretch or the other team gets on a bad stretch, things can change and change quickly. Not sure if that's going to happen tonight. Frank Vogel likes the way Kennard's starting to play for him. Recently, again, getting more minutes with all the injuries they've had. Feet inside, Montrez Harrell banks it home, and a foul. Rondo has played 13 minutes. He's on a minutes restriction. They haven't been told exactly why. Kennard knocks it down. And I, I agree. It doesn't matter, meaning the most important thing for the Lakers right now is to get healthy and hold. But like I said, I have not seen a team that cannot be beat. It's going to be some blood. It goes according state by state in terms of what's allowed, what percentage capacity they have. I'll it's tell you this, though, my guys. Massive injuries, an Achilles tear, an ACL tear. As Kennard gets it in and rattles it home. Look, Kennard shooting beautifully. Lakers will fall to 31 and 19. And that'll do it.